Good morning, everybody. Morning. I want to thank everybody for their response to yesterday's video. I've had lots and lots of uh, messages um, from people. Because uh, me, I it, it, it's kind of when the channel kind of died, kind of went... A bit quiet. Cover, yeah, quiet. <laughs> and of course, me. Um, the way I am, I think. Oh, everybody's fed up. Um, it's not working anymore. <laughs> so that's the way I am. Um, but everybody came on, loads of people commented and said, we're, we're all here, we're all watching. Carry on, you know. <laughs> What's the word you use when you say it's a downer? Is it a Nelly Downer or something? Oh, Daisy Downer. <laughs> Daisy Downer. <laughs> Daisy Downer. <laughs> Some of that. Is that what you say? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, how I, that's how I felt. And um, everybody came on and sort of reassured me that, you know, it's still, they're still there. Um, <laughs> but it reminded me of how we were when um, I remember. You've got a cold, you know, when we were writing to one another, you got a cold and um, you didn't go out and you kept giving your letters for, to Brian, your brother, to post for you. Yeah. And he, he didn't post them, he just walked around with them in his pocket okay. and eventually he had four letters <laughs> in his pocket and he had no idea what carnage he was causing. Because um, I was just like I am, I was just thinking, she don't want to write to me anymore. <laughs> She's falling out with me. Mm. Just, I just... Thought and, all sorts. And when, when there's no other way of communication, mm -hmm. you're left with that. And it went on for weeks, did that. Um, and it, it was just agony. Mm. And you you don't you don't realise nowadays. No. It, I was ill for quite a while, wasn't I? Yeah. I don't know what what I've got. Mm. Do you know it it reminded me of a when when I was in well, even after I was married, uh, there was a duty called AKC Fire AKC Cinema Fire Picket. And it, then in, in the 60s, in the cinema, in the camp, the, what they used to call the AKC cinema, you weren't allowed to smoke in the cinema. <laughs> and so one of the duties was fire picket duty, and you had the Watuya, and you had to um, sit in the cinema and make sure nobody lit up. <laughs> and at the interval, oh well, at, at, at before it's, the film started, I remember sitting in the foyer on a chair and it was, the, the, uh, the one that I got, the fire picket I got, was for a matinee. I think it was a Saturday afternoon matinee. And of course it was for kids. <laughs> um, and... You wouldn't think you'd need a fire picket for kids snapping would you? I don't know. The, this is the army, mm. you know. Um, and I, I remember one day sat there in the foyer and there were in the, the doors into the cinema with these swing doors. And I was watching these kids coming into the cinema and they they wreak carnage on one another. They just let the door go and the next kid coming in and get bang in his head and mm -hmm. kids would trap the fingers in between the doors as it come flying shut. Mm -hmm. they, I just sat there watching the carnage being that these kids were wreaking on one another. Mm -hmm. um, and I th I've often thought about that. I thought, well, yeah, there were kids 
But as we get older, it it don't change at all. We still wreak carnage on one another. And when when we were suffering the agony of not being able to communicate, we had no idea that years and years ahead they'd invent mobile phones. Yeah. And when they came out, mobile phones, I thought to myself then, I thought, imagine, imagine being angry and being able to respond instantaneously. Mm. What carnage you could wreak on one another just by having the ability to instantly respond to a yeah, situation. Like texting now, you know. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's... Social media. Yeah. What? And the other night I was watching a film and every advert that came on during this film were a gambling ad. Uh, yeah. And, and I, I think, don't they know what havoc they are going to wreak on society with all this gambling? You can buy an, download an app on your phone mm. and you can just run up a bloody great debt wherever you are. Mm. You know. And yeah, you get a bit bored. And and I, I just think, all them years ago when I saw, saw those children just couldn't walk through swing doors without harming one another. And we're, we're exactly the same. You think when you grow up, you become, you don't do that. More mature. Yeah, more mature. But I've realised we're not. You know, we're just mm -hmm. exactly the same. Um, mm -hmm. With age, don't necessarily come wisdom. No. Uh, I, I was thinking about that this morning when I was brushing my teeth. No, oh, wow. <laughs> ah, brushing your teeth. Yeah. Thinking about wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh she... You were slow there. Yeah, I was, yeah. To Pat and after I met Pat, I completely fell out with the army. <laughs> Didn't want to be there anymore. Fell out with Germany, fell out of the army. And I was I was trying to use my asthma to get a medical medical discharge. I was trying to get a discharge out of the army on medical grounds. Mm. Um, you, was, you started saving up, didn't you, to get out? I'm just starting to, well. to look up. Well, yeah, we. Um, That's yeah, I did. I, I did start that start to save up to buy myself out. Mm. At that time, it cost two hundred and fifty pounds, which were a lot of money. Mm. When you consider, in the end, we used a hundred pounds of the money I'd saved to get out of the army, we used it as a deposit on a house. Mm. That was a hundred pounds. So mm. you can say how much, yeah. 250 pounds were a lot of money to save up yeah. back then. Mm. Um, but anyway, they weren't having none of it mm. on the yeah, army. Yeah. <laughs> and of course you remember Pat, Pat wrote to me and said she won't go in and go out anymore. And I told her to go out. <laughs> I said, don't, 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 stay in. don't stay in, don't not go out. Because mm -hmm. it was me that were worried about getting a dear job. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you probably mentioned it and I said, what's a dear job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, we're worried all the time that, 
you'd get fed up of waiting or you'd meet somebody else. Mm. Anything could happen, you know, yeah. I mean, you probably felt the same. Yeah. 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 Although I think there were probably less less chance of you meeting somebody with a load of fellas than me like that. Well, blokes did. It's amazing how many blokes did go out with German girls and finish up marrying them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they won't have what to do with me. German girls? Yeah. It's funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't um, get anywhere with German lasses. <laughs> well, as it no turns temptation. out, mm, as it turned out, mm. yeah, it was good, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. So what else are you? Um, and I did send, I did send um, my home address to you so that you could um, write. Send a card to our kid. Oh, right. Some cheeky subscriber. Yeah. On here. Right. Saw that about you uh, wanting to send a card to our kid. Oh, right. For his birthday. And there's some cheeky subscriber on here says, It's my birthday tomorrow. Can you send me one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I said? Oh. <laughs> what did you say? Send you a card, you'll be saying boat at Queen next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's not well. She's got a bit of Covid. Yeah, I saw, I saw her. She looked ill when I, put, I saw her. I put the I put a um, programme on the telly last night and I caught the news. I don't watch the news. And I caught it, and there were, there were the Queen mm -hmm. standing talking to somebody. Yeah. And she, she looked very like frail. thin. She very lost frail. tons of weight, hadn't she? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, very she did. frail. She did. I haven't seen her for ages. Mm. Yeah. And then Russians have gone into thingy as well, haven't they? Subscriber told me to get my tan cat. Russians yeah. are coming. Yeah. I don't know whether you'd remember how to drive it, do you? I probably won't have strength to push the clutch in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It probably calls that with well, your leg, because <laughs> it would. Keeps, keeps getting a bit of discomfort in that leg, don't you, that leads up to your hernia. They, they did warn me about that. Yeah, they that? said that it might ache. Yeah. Yeah, well, we were watching Camper Glam Kevin this morning and, oh, and yeah. he made a very pertinent remark mm. because um, it, 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 Camper Van Kevin will be in his 50s and um, he um, said that a lot of uh, friends older. who were older can't do what he's doing. He's, He's out in Quartzsite in Arizona and he's been there yonks, months mm. and he says that a, a lot of his friends who are older than him have, can't stray too far away because of doctor's mm. appointments and you were saying you want to do this while you're young because... Um, you, As you get older you need to be near doctors more than yeah. more often and... And it, it, we looked Can at one something? another when, when <laughs> yeah. he said it, didn't we? Yeah. Because exactly yeah. the situation that we're yeah. in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we've, we've put an order in for my tablets and we're just hoping that they're going to come this week, aren't we? Well, I'm, I'm going to ring chemist, them today. Not, I'm not going to ring the chemist, I'm going to ring the doctors to make sure that they've, got the... that they've dispatched a double, a double lot. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Now one, one subscriber come on and said that she always gets a double lot. Oh. She always gets two months supply at a really? time. Really? Yeah. Oh. I mm. didn't, we didn't know you could do that. No. They're always very... 
Yeah, they I are. mean, I ran up once. Oh, is that thing? And um, they let me order so many, but one of them they missed off, didn't they? And they said it because it wasn't due. Mm. And yeah. then a day or so later, that one arrived. But it makes it awkward because you, if you're not getting them all at the same time, oh no, you know you, you want them all, don't you? Not, yeah. Not to have to wait for just Dribs one. Drips and drabs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And and he, he delivers them yeah, from don't. chemist, which is good, very good now because I mean it's a, quite a long walk, isn't it? It is, and it's all You know, okay. and if you've to go twice in a week. Mm, yeah. I mean, I don't do it. Trevor used to go up and get them, but um, we, we discovered that the chemist had delivered them, didn't we? Yeah, they did. They, they rang me and said, yeah, would so. I like them delivered? Yeah, they did, yeah. I said, oh, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> but you never know when they're going to come. They just... No, you don't. You know, once yeah. we get back, we've already ordered them. Yeah, we order them before we come back. And then you're just waiting, mm. aren't you? I mean, once they actually came on the same day that we arrived home. Yeah, they did. We'd, we'd not been home above an hour or so, no, had we? And no. they, were, they were here on the door. But... <clears throat> then sometimes it's can be Thursday or Friday when you've ordered them the previous Thursday or yeah, Friday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's amazing how um, many. Uh, sorry, darling, were you? No, I no, I'd finished. I'd finished, yeah, thank you. It's amazing how many um, people um, did what we did when they lit a fire and put, oh, right. put the paper up until it went brown and then pulled it right. away. Yeah, yeah. yeah did, they, did they tie the newspaper in? They the didn't say that, that, it was just <laughs> holding the paper up. Paper up to draw it up yeah, chimney. Yeah, until it went brown yeah. and pulling it away before yeah. it caught fire. It's amazing how many did people that. did it when they were young. Some of them as young as 10 right, yeah. did, did it. And they yeah. were saying they won't let their own kids grandkids do, do it. No, no. <laughs> now. Yeah. Well, know. I mean, there's a lot of things you won't let your grandkids do, isn't there? I mean, that we did. Yeah. Yeah, why you is You know, that? making cups of tea with boiling hot water and... Yeah. At young ages and different things like that. W mm. Were we allowed to live more dangerously? I think we probably were, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what Swallows and Amazons film. I always thought uh, that. Yeah. When these kids were allowed to go yeah. off on a boat to an island camping yeah. on their own. I mean, we, we know, used to let, 50s. let kids go off wandering. And, I, oh God, I remember an horrible story of um, my brother, he'd be about seven or eight, and he'd, he'd called on this little boy who lived down the street, who was a bit younger than him, and they'd gone out for a walk, and it were over near Melvin's, you know, on Nate Swimming Baths, mm. near Elbeck Baths. Mm. Do you remember there used to be, um, uh, like, a channel of water that ran alongside up street? Yeah. And now oh, O'Brien yeah. came back and he said, my friend's fallen in a puddle. A puddle? Where? Is he all right? No, I couldn't find him. He said he fell in a puddle. And he, this little lad's mother come round to the house and she's saying, where's my boy? Where is he? Where's so-and-so? And it, it, Brian took us to where this, this little lad had fallen in and it was this, Blooming Beck thing that ran along, and he'd had little little sandals on, and now Brian kept saying, "I tried to pull him out, but he was slipping, he was slipping." And I mean, when they found him, he was, oh, he died. Died. Yeah, he drowned. Oh God. Um, I mean, how that affected our Brian, I don't know, but I mean, because he were only about seven or eight himself. Oh, and I think little lad were about. Six or seven or something, but she had another kitty and she never let it out of that yard. Mm. Never. She, I mean, she was just well. You can imagine. Mm, you can, poor yeah. woman was distraught. Yeah. And her husband. I mean, and that were just they'd gone out to play, and I mean it wasn't 
that knee really, wasn't it? From well, where from away. Danube's. Really? Well. He, I think they'd walked up up by paper mill and round by where Melvin Sweet what it's sweet. Is sweet, it sweet Street. Street? Might have been. I think they called it. Yeah, it might be. Somewhere around yeah. there, aren't they? It was a funny little back at the area. Baths or yeah, on side, on oh, side at Bath. Where Bath was. Yeah, yeah, and you used to work up, yeah, up there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. For moats. Moat. Yeah, well, it, it's continued well, it's running. Is it Matt? Is it <coughs> yeah, where that, that. Yeah, that pub was. Pub places. Mm. It were in that yard there, where Yeah. 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 So that were that were a bit of an horrible story that. Well, your yeah, Brian, just is, letting... he, he had a bit of a tragic life, really, oh, he didn't did. he? Yeah, he did. Did Brian? Yeah. I mean, he's, yeah. he died at 51, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And at one time, he were in a, in, on the streets. Mm hmm He was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he were mainly brought up with my dad and my grandma. Yeah. Because... Our family were dysfunctional. We were split up all over <laughs> at different times of our life. <clears throat> so as I grew up, I never really considered um, the sort of closeness that you have with your sisters and brothers. I always felt like I was brought up as a single child, not, not with other yeah. siblings, because there were... They were all found out in different places yeah. at certain times. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was well, quite quite a strange. It was. Um, upbringing. Well, when I met you, your Pamela was living with your auntie. Great auntie. Your great and auntie Uncle Jill. and Uncle Joe. Yeah, yeah, she was. And I'd lived there when I was younger, because mm. um, they didn't have any children. <clears throat> and when me. Um, my mum's sister were younger, she'd live with them. So they'd had like two generations of oh, us. Oh, right. Connie. Connie. Oh, right. Connie lived with them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that little bedroom saw three little girls in it. <laughs> Never boys. <laughs> was it's, and it's funny, that's mm. that's where we spent, spent our, honeymoon, our honeymoon. First nights, so yeah. A couple, few nights before yeah, we went to... In their old house. In their old house, yeah. Where it, Rag rugs. Yeah. 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 Open fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your Uncle Joe, do you remember? Seems ridiculous to think about it now, but <clears throat> I remember my dad having one. And we used to sharpen razor blades. No, when it, they got... were a, it were a cut knife. My dad cut had a, a thing and it, you could hear it clicking. As it went, it used to flip over like that, and it used to shark both sides of blade. Oh. Used to shove it to and fro. Um, I remember me, me uh, your um, uncle, uncle Joe, Joe had a letter. I thought he thing. came when we were when we were on his honeymoon, mm -hmm. staying in that house. Your uncle Joe came, didn't he? Didn't he come for something? He might have done. I thought he yeah, come for that. He might have done. He might have, yeah. For his razor yeah. sharpener. Yeah. And he still used it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, although he wasn't very well, he wasn't at our wedding, but Aunt Ethel was. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. <laughs> little old lady with a little blue hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, oh. how long have we been on? Oh, oh 24 enough. minutes. Okay, we better call that a, a video. Bye, folks. Bye.